welcome or welcome back to my little corner of the internet where I like to talk about some witchy shit, some health shit, and some political shit. I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, still wearing your mask. I know I harp on it every single video, but it's really important, especially for <clears throat> people like myself. Um, I have been effectively shielding and wearing a mask since April. Yeah, it's... Do you think I want to see my family? Oh, hell yeah! I was planning on seeing them at some point this year because we're spread all over from California to Vermont. But it, it's not worth it. It's not worth me possibly getting my grandmother sick. It's not worth me possibly getting even more sick. Um, it's when I see people out there, no masks, going to the grocery store. To me, however, that would feel like I'm going in naked. And in some areas, that's okay to go naked, um, but wear a mask. Uh, because people didn't have a hard time abiding by the whole no shirt, no shoes, no service thing. But it doesn't mention pants either, so maybe you go in pantless. But wearing a mask, they view as being an encroachment on their rights. You know what? People have a right to be alive, too. You know, um, me wearing a mask shows that I respect you. Me wearing a mask also cuts down on the risk that I catch whatever the crap you're transmitting. Other countries have not had a problem adopting this. It seems more like a uh, entitled country kind of a thing. Oh, it's my right. Yeah, oh. <clears throat> and then they like to tell me that the like recovery rate or stuff like that is like, okay, you want to tell that to what we have quarter million dead people now this year due to coronavirus that probably wouldn't have died otherwise. You want to tell that to their families. You want to tell that to the people who can't go into the hospital or the doctor's office for an appointment that they really need? Hi, yeah, that's me. Um, you want to tell that to the people that are giving birth and they can't have all of their family members in there with them? Yeah, that's not me, but that's that thing called compassion and empathy, you know, which I think is a little bit lacking, at least currently. I mean, in the past, it's been lacking too, but it seems to be even more so over the past four years, and especially now during a deadly global pandemic. I would think that such an event would cause people to reflect, turn inwards, do a little self-evaluation to see how their actions are affecting others. But that's not the case. At least it doesn't seem like the case, you know. Um, instead, it's more of a me versus we approach. And frankly, that sucks. Um, that sucks big time. It's unfair. It's... Yeah. It's ugly. It's ugly is what it is. I'm just glad that I live in a place where this is legal. Because I could not ha imagine. Ooh, that tasted like mothballs. Not mothballs, but like the mil malted milk mothballs. What are they called? I don't know. I can't have them. Ha! <laughs> But anyway, yeah, it's, I just don't understand how it can be such a selfish society. Because I've always wanted to help. Kind of like with Mr. Rogers. Be the helper, you know. Um, be the light if all you see is darkness. Um, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a lawyer and be a voice for the voiceless. Um, then I changed that to be a... Uh, I wanted to be the, um, the medical examiner that, like, head medical examiner for the FBI as a kid. Then I wanted to be um, 
a psychologist. And then I went to school for that. Then I went and got my master's degree in clinical psych. And then my body decided that it had other plans. So. Anywho, um, tonight is a new moon. It's a special new moon. Um, it's very powerful. And with that, I will share a little bit. Um, tonight, the, since it is a new moon, if you're a moon witch or are just interested in it, it's good time for shadow work and protection, um, divination, banishing, meditation, journaling, and introspection. Um, I would think that uh, these things would be important, especially now as the country continues to fall apart, but yet there are also pockets of hope that we are coming together, that we are hopefully having a collective awakening that can help us to see the truth, you know, that we're stronger together, that even though introverts like myself, um, that wear a mask all the time, I will still try to help other people out. Um, it's, I don't get the gatekeeper mentality. I don't get the selfishness. So this morning I held in my head, my heart when I was pulling the divination, <clears throat> How can I stay steady and like basically have grace under these situations? Because I have a lot of uncertainty swirling around in my life. Um, but I'm still keeping the mindset that I got good news. Uh, it's just going to be my mantra, you know, um, put it out there in the universe at the risk of sounding too woo woo, you know? Um, yeah, how can I maintain? like the steadiness inside when there's swirling chaos outside. Um, I am vibrant and creative. Uh, there was a time where the phrase be creative like sparked fear inside, like literal fear. Um, like I could almost feel my fight or flight activate. Um, as somebody with chronic PTSD, I'm typically usually in that state anyway, but when like I went to a paint your pottery class, not class, but a place with my mom as an adult, like not too long ago. And, uh, hang on, let me go get it. Whoosh. And it was not my comfort zone at all. Um, I got nervous, I got scared, I didn't know what to do, I didn't know where to start. None of that. Um, but this is this is what I painted. <laughs> um yeah. That's what I painted. And that was my first attempt at like a paint your pottery place that involved a lot of creativity. Since then. I have expanded my creativity outlets or creative outlets. Um, but sadly with like my changing health, um, I've had to change my outlets several times. And with this, um, it hurts a lot. Uh, it's my right hand. I'm right hand dominant. Um, it hurts to grasp this size 10. It hurts to do just about anything with it. Um, I'm hoping that I can get some occupational therapy or at least something for it because it's starting to swell. And it's like I got patches on it for pain relief, but those don't really do much. But yeah, I, being creative, I've had to learn so many different ways to be creative. I know, I know. You wouldn't think that creativity would be a major blockage for me, but it was. Um, I was more analytical and I was praised more in my childhood and throughout adulthood for being more analytical. But you can be creative and analytical at the same time. So with that, I bid you do. I hope you find some creativity in your life today to kind of temper the chaos that's swirling in our society. Remember to be nice to each other. Be nice to yourselves. Wear your mask. 
Um, uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this, and I will see you in my next video. And remember, you got it in you. You could be creative. I even painted his toes.